Let me tell you what's gonna happen any second, any moment. In fact, before I get through preaching, there could be the sound or, or the archangel and the trumpet of God. The dead in Christ rise first, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. It's called the rapture of the church. It's the next great event on the calendar. You better hear what I'm telling you, you liberal individual with your mindset that thinks that nothing about this Bible is true. It's happening every day whether you like it or not. Well, Pastor, I, I don't believe the way you believe. I don't care whether you believe the way I believe. Do you believe the Bible? That's what I want to know. Jesus said, I'm coming again, and when I come, I'm going to come back can get you. Watch what happens when that takes place because Christians are the only ones paying their taxes. Maybe I should have said this before. You do pay your taxes, don't you? When every Christian is removed from this earth, the tax base of America will collapse overnight and a one world currency will come into place. Here's the second thing. When I was in New York this past week and they sent me a text that said they just bombed the runways of Syria and Damascus, in Damascus. I said, oh Lord, help me get on this plane and get home fast. Because the second thing you need to know is from Isaiah 17, an event that is going to occur could be even while we're sitting in this building is the destruction of Damascus. Read about it in your Bible if you care to read it. Isaiah 17 says that there will be a nuclear blast that will take place and wipe Damascus off the map. Have you been seeing what's happening in Gaza? These buildings are being flattened like we watched in, in World War II in Berlin. Nothing but rubble. The Bible says one of the events that's going to take place is the destruction of Damascus. And here's the third thing. I, the Bible says that Israel in that day will stand alone. No one will come to its assistance. That's how I know this is not the Gog and Magog war because America has sent some uh, ships over there and there's other help coming from other nations. And I want you to let you know, because they're not reporting it on the news right now, that there is United States boots on the ground, even as I speak. There's United States F-16s and fighters and bombs and everything else. And the only reason why Hezbollah has not jumped the border is because America is just offshore with a couple of aircraft carriers. Ladies and gentlemen, there's still hope for America. If we'll turn our hearts back to God in the church, God can send a revival to this nation. Because five seconds after the rapture takes place, this house is going to be packed. And some of you that have not been born again will be in that crowd crying out, I missed it. But it will be too late. But that's another message for another time. I conclude here this morning. Israel will stand alone in the world in the coming days with the Bible says no earthly support. Listen to me. What's next? This is what I love about Bible prophecy. It is history written into our future and God comes back to tell us what's gonna be. Because while the world is trying to figure out what to do, God has already planned it out. While the enemies of Israel intentionally come to wipe Israel off the map, Israel, you've been watching it this past week, has an iron dome. And, it's, and, and, and when I was over there, one of the things that the guide kept saying was, the, the problem will be, it's not that the iron dome is not working, but if they overwhelm it with thousands of rockets, that's what you've seen, then the iron dome cannot effectively take out every one of them. Some of them will drop. That's what you've been seeing. So they've got the iron dome and thank God for the iron dome and they've got David's sling which is another uh, a weapon that they will use to defend themselves and not only that but you've got the Israeli uh, very passionate life and their love for family and their love of their country that is driving them and helping them to go to the front lines. But I want to tell you about another weapon they've got. It's called a secret weapon in the sky. It is the eye of the Almighty God, the eye of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God who watches over Israel that doesn't slumber and doesn't sleep. 
And because God will certainly stand with Israel during these last days, I can assure you that we are witnesses to the fulfillment of Bible prophecy, not for your entertainment, but for the urgency of the propagation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. What is the sign? I'm Israel high. The people of Israel live. The first phase, watch this. The first phase is Israel cleanses Gaza of every terrorist. Secondly, they're going to destroy Hamas and the Islamic Jihad that's located in that area. And then they're gonna go after everybody that helped. You better hold on to your seats, my friend. Because when the news comes on and says from an Iranian president, I don't know what happened, but something has blown up over here in one of our nuclear reactors. They're gonna point their microphones at the leadership of Israel and Israel's gonna say the same thing they've always said when that's happened. I don't know. When that happened in 81, President Ronald Reagan went in there and they were threatened by a leader who was a leader. I marched in the parade of the inauguration of Ronald Reagan in 1981. And while I was marching down Pennsylvania Avenue in that high school band, the telephone call came from the White House all the way from Iran. They have just let our hostages go. As long as a weak leader was in the White House, they held them for 144 days. But when President Reagan said, I'm coming after our people, they picked up the phone and said, we've released them because we believe you. While I was marching down Pennsylvania Avenue, the word was coming to President Reagan. God give us a leader and we must pray in the days ahead to give us a strong leader with godly principles who will lead America without weakness. <laughs>